Oh yeah, that's the big one. Oh baby. Good morning everybody. It is a gorgeous sunny day and we are going fishing here. Still the squala hatch and it's a perfectly sunny, calm, gorgeous day. I'm fishing the dry dropper. Let's see, do you think we're gonna get more strikes on the dry or the dropper? Let's find out. So this is still pre-runoff time. Normally I wouldn't be able to wade section or wade and walk this section of the river here in the lower canyon because the water level would be too high and high up on the banks. I'm already in thigh deep water right here. Um, and this is like as low as this river gets. So I'm just working my way down to this run that I'm excited to fish. All right, let me show you guys the uh, dry dropper rig here. Here's the Skawala Dry that we're doing. Little bit of foam, little bit of elk hair, little visibility there. This butt section supposed to look like the egg sack. And then about, I don't know, a foot and a half below that is a teeny little midge that I tied with a little bit of red ribbing and purple haze hackle, little bead head. Lots of debris in the water right there. Careful not to lose the fly. Okay, let's work our way down some. No strikes in that pocket. Okay, walk down to the next riffle. So, we'll do a little bit of what's called inside out fishing, where I'm standing like in the middle of the river, fishing towards the outside. Might be a little too fast of water right here fish this slow current. Okay, can't wade any further down this way, so gonna go back up. Let's look for some insects and some rocks. Let's try this one. Whoa, a lot right here. Look at that stone fly. Big one. Oh yeah. Little squala stone right here. Bunch of other bugs too. All right, let's keep fishing. That water is still chilly, super cold. Gotta let that sun warm it up. It's still March, as much as it feels like May right now. There's a giant great blue heron standing on the bank just beyond those rocks. Oh, there it goes. I'm getting a little hungry, so while we wait for the water temperature to rise a little bit, time to make a little bit of food. I just saw a fish rise. I just saw a fish rise. You guys, I'm sitting here eating my lunch and I've seen two rises. One was big. I could see its shoulders come out of the water and an adult squala just flew right past me and landed in this tr little shrub tree right here. So as soon as I finish eating, it is game on. I'm gonna have to sneak quietly down into this water and fish this little riffle right here because they are rising. Okay, so the fish were rising right in that riffle line. Oh, there was a big splash right there. Oh man. Okay, we gotta sneak down there. I don't wanna make too much noise, so I'm just gonna get quiet and try not to fall on my I need to scoot up just a little bit more. I'm just a little too far downstream. Let's see if we can do that. Really gently and quietly. Look how slow I'm moving. Almost fell. Oh, God bless. Okay. Gotta watch the back cast here. I'm right up against the brush as you can see. Alright. Let's see what we can do. Thank you. 
Oh yeah, that's the big one. Oh baby, oh it's jumping. Oh man, and there's still another fish rising back there. This fish is on the dry. I'm not sure how well it's buttoned though. Oh. Ooh. Oh, it's shaking its head. It's trying to get off. Oh, that's a nice rainbow. Here we go. Beautiful. Oh, man. <laughs> wow, you guys. This is a nice fish. Oh, my goodness. This is a nice fish. Holy cow, man, let's take a picture. Beautiful, what a fish. Oh my goodness. Would you look at this fish? Oh my God, it's so big, I can barely get my hand around it. Try to get a nice picture without harming it, keeping it wet, keeping it in the net. All right, let's take the hook out. Let's take the hook out and release this beautiful fish. Man, it's such a tank. Holy cow, what a fat fish. On the Squala Dry, okay. Ready for the release? Let's watch him swim away. seeing any more rises here maybe I'll try a different fly either that or we got to move spots or give it a little time oh I think I saw a subtle rise just like a sip a sip for the midge that they're on nothing on the dropper yet so might be time to take the dropper off and change the dry okay got a teeny tiny little blue wing olive that I tied a little Adams deal. Put a little floating on there. Oops, a little tangle on the first cast. Cast's a little different too. There's a squala on my fly. You can't fool another one out of here. I think we should put another squala on, but a different one. Okay, so I changed flies again and put on a different squala pattern. This one's a little bit narrower, a little bit of elk hair on there and some hackle around the top. So yeah, let's see if we can't do this. And I've noticed they're sporadically rising all the way down. So this is a really good spot right here. They've been rising. This is where I caught that fish and you know, they're a little spooked out. So maybe we'll work our way down. <laughs> Try not to hook myself in the finger. Here's a real squala. Let's see if I can catch it to show you guys the real one here in the water. Here it comes. Here it comes. There it is. <laughs> There's the real squala. Adult squala. No egg sac on that one. <laughs> Okay, I think it's time to fish new water. Look at that. Yeah. I'm sorry, you're busy. <laughs> 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 Never mind that one. <laughs> they're, they're all over right now. It's, it's a good time right now on the squala. Yeah. 
Single dry, they're they're rising right now. Yeah. Have a good one. Thanks. Whoa. <laughs> Jumper. There's a big boulder in that water. Got to keep it out of that boulder. There we go. Oh, come on, bud. All right, let's get that net. There we go. Look at there. Another gorgeous rainbow. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Okay. We don't need as many photos of this one, so we'll just unpin it and release it right away. Okay. Oh, fly's already out. All right, bud. There you go. Toodaloo. <laughs> nice. On the dry. There we go. Two on the squalas. Let's see what the uh, real versus the imitation looks like here on the water. Yeah, there. Mine has a little less wiggle to it. Fish that spot good and hard for a long time. Got a couple of nice rainbows. And now I think I'm gonna drive down the road and uh, fish up river a little bit, find another spot. And we're gonna camp out tonight too, have a nice campfire later, so. Let's move down the road. I've gone to the dark side. Got a bobber on. So the last spot I was fishing at, I heard a splash and I was like, ooh, a fish is rising. And then I realized that there's some dudes up on the road behind me throwing rocks <laughs> into the river. So I guess everybody's got to enjoy the river in their own way. But uh, needless to say, I left that spot and sun is getting low. There's a bald eagle in the tree. So gonna try this last spot before I go make a campfire. Cheers, you guys. Wow, what a fun day of fishing. You know, not a huge quantity of fish, but amazing quality of fish. That first rainbow trout was so fat, so, so fat. It was so fun to catch that thing and to land it in the net. So grateful for that. On the dry fly, squala dry fly. Loved every little bit of that. And then the second one I caught too with some guide boat, or I don't know if they were a guide or not, but some drift boat was going by and was like oh hey you know get that other fish and then boom fish on so that was super duper fun camping out here tonight gonna grill up some uh brats over the fire and set up my tent here so it's been a great day i appreciate you guys watching i know it was supposed to be dry dropper and i barely fished the dropper it just it wasn't happening today so just the dries very, very fun. Hopefully you guys are catching fish, having fun, picking up trash and doing all that good stuff. I'll see you on the next video.